Hello guys, welcome back to LineUp. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix virtual deployment error. So, if you're interested, let's get started. So, whenever a deployment fails here, Virtual provides an error message. So, this message often includes details about specific issues, such as, like, for example, the environment variable issues or build process errors or missing or outdated dependencies. So, in this case, you need to carefully read the error message here and you can basically pinpoint the cause of the actual failure. So, first thing first is you want to go to Virtual.com, obviously, lock in, and you want to go to your Virtual project dashboard. Now, you want to go ahead and basically view your build logs here. So typically in your dashboard here, click on build logs. It should give you all the necessary information that you may want to read here. So it's basically, we have build logs. Now, from then on, you want to basically look for any error messages or warnings that indicates what went wrong during the deploy deployment here. So these logs help you identify whether the issues are to your code, dependencies, or versus configuration. Now, in this case, your virtual configuration file here or virtual.json should be correctly set up. So in this case, there are potential issues that you may need to check here. So first is you may want to uh, check uh, if there's any incorrect build commands and also if there's misconfigured framework settings and also if they're missing or incorrect routes and redirects. Now, if your project doesn't have the virtual.json file, Versa will try to auto detect settings, but manually defining it can sometimes help uh, fix the issue or error itself. Now, also you may want to validate your environment variables. Now, in order for you to view that, let's go and go back one page. You want to go to settings here and you have environment variables. Now, in this case, if your project relies on APIs, database credentials, or other sensitive data, incorrect environment variables configurations can cause deployment failures. So make sure all required environment variables are set in versus environment variables here. Now, in this case, um, also you may want to double check for typos or missing values here. And if your app requires library keys, ensure they are properly formatted. And also you may want to check for dep dependencies. Now, uh, the thing here is many deployment errors occur due to missing or outdated dependencies. So in this case, you may want to run an npm install or yarn install locally to make sure all dependencies are installed and also check if any package in package.json are missing or incorrectly referenced. Also try using or try running npm update to update outdated dependencies. Now, if you recently remove a package from package.json, make sure it's not still being used uh, elsewhere in your code as well. And next is you may want to optimize your build configuration here. So in this case, reduce like unnecessary dependencies to improve build times here. And also if you're using like next.js, uh, ensure that your build and export command are correct. So in this case, uh, next build and next start. And consider clearing the cache, uh, the cache if e your project keeps failing due to uh, a stale or stale builds. Now, after making the necessary pages here, redeploy your project. So to be speaking, you just need to go to your virtual, uh, the, uh, virtual dashboard here and you want to look for the field deployment and you just need to click on the option uh, that says um, redeploy or trigger a new build here. But if the error was due to a temporary issue, re redeploying here should, should actually resolve it. But yeah. Another thing that you may want to check here is you want to check virtual server status. So sometimes deployment issues may be due to temporary problems with virtual server. So you can go and visit the virtual status page here to check if their services are running smoothly here. If there are any uh, reported outages, just wait for a few hours or a few minutes and they should automatically solve that uh, um, itself. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to your app. Thank you for watching.